viewers and listeners, welcome you to the insurance uh, segment. Uh, with me in the studio, I have uh, Mrs. Omenego Odia and Pastor Datimi Ojokojo. Both welcome. Good morning, viewers. Thank you again for your time. We appreciate your spending time with us. Good morning, viewers, and happy new month. Yeah, we'll take our quote, and our quote says, one of the most difficult things is not to change society, but to change yourself. Change your attitude about insurance positively to benefit. Pastor mm -hmm. Dazimo <laughs> Let's you know, a, a very inspiring quote. Uh, it reminds me of a story of somebody who tried to change the whole world, mm. but he discovered that at his deathbed that he should have started with himself. So start with yourself, mm. and you can impact other people around you. Miss mm. Odia. Well, like they say, charity begins at home. So if you want to change things, you start with yourself. I start with myself. And you to start with yourself, and then the thing begins to move around. Like <laughs> yes, uh, we quickly need to inform uh, our listening uh, audience out there that uh, the value of insurance should be a total one that involves the family. Exactly. Uh, people have complained about policies that they are taking and the claims not settled. We want to say that we have written to the National Insurance Commission and um, we also want to engage them concerning the letters we have written and the details we have given on to them. And so for those who fall into that category, we are making every effort to ensure that payment is made quickly. Uh, but there's one striking uh, position out here that has come to our notice. Uh, we have somebody who came in to say that I did not know <laughs> that uh, my husband had a life policy and unfortunately he died. he died. And since there was no knowledge, there was nothing that that lady could do. But she ran, uh, she, 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 she was searching documents and she found this life policy and she shouted, ah, my husband has this kind of policy and, and it's no more. So what she did was to come out to reach us. And uh, we are glad to say that even after some long number of years, that's uh, approximately uh, seven, seven years or so now, uh, that the policy, the, the, the person had died. But because that policy document is there, and we wrote to say that this person is no more, and we demand payment, you know, concerning this. Unfortunately, the company had written back to say that we acknowledge receipt of your letter, and they are they, they, they express their heartfelt condolence of this report that has come, and so now they require medical certificate of cause of death and burial certificate so that they can make payment. Yeah. They have also been able to establish the beneficiaries of that particular policy. Yes. Mr. Monaga Odia, <laughs> these are some of the things we try to say. It, it, it's not criminal, it, it's not anything difficult that we should do. Why one won't tell his wife to say that I have this kind of policy yeah. okay. and all that stuff. And tomorrow somebody will come around and even say that, come, insurance refused to pay this claim. <laughs> So how do we go about such an exercise, Mrs. Oden? Well, I think one lesson we learned from that story is the need to be open to the members of your family about the things you do. So if you take an insurance policy, it's a sign of care. It's a sign that you are the kind of father who cares not just about what, hap what happens when you are there, but you also care about what happens in case you are not there. Yes. You are concerned that your family still retains the standard of living they have had all along in case you're taken out of the picture. So yes. we'd encourage all those who who care who are caring enough to also be open to their family members. We're glad to be back with you on uh, the insurance segment. Uh, we're actually talking about the situation of a policyholder who died and the wife was not actually informed of the policy that was taken. And now the wife tumbled on the document and have come to make it such a presentation. We are glad to say that the insurance company is responsive, uh, responding positively 
uh, concerning this issue. But let us look at some of the consequences of such an action. Um, it might lead to such a claim not being paid because there might be no full documentations that might be made in respect of it. Now, Mrs. Obia, why do you think that there was no knowledge to the wife uh, in this case? There could be many possibilities. We wouldn't know because uh, the late man is not here to say which one exactly. is actually applicable in this situation. But it's possible that he just felt somebody was troubling me. Much of the time when you meet people, they say somebody has been pestering me to take insurance. <laughs> so maybe somebody had been troubling him and said, oh, let me let go of this troubler of Israel. And then he just takes it for the sake of taking. Mm -hmm. And we doubt that the minor insurance doesn't, doesn't work. I just do it for doing sake. So that possibility is there. It's also possible that he's the kind of family head who keeps things to himself and does not share. He's, he's never on the same page with his family yes. members. Yes. But really recommend here that the best thing is to be open to the members of your family because communication is the lifeblood of any relationship. So it greases the family relationship and makes it better. Yeah, yes. so how do we also tie such a point? You know, uh, no knowledge? Yeah, in, in, uh, she, she has made some valid points, but in extreme cases, some people may want to be secretive because um, they don't want to uh, cause anyone to take their lives. <laughs> <laughs> so they can benefit. That's in extreme cases. Mm. Because we've seen stories, even though we watch them on movie, in movies, that you know, you see a wife you know, organizing for the death of her husband because she knows she has a insurance to benefit from. So those are rare cases. But sincerely, you know, the wife should be carried along for such transactions. Mm -hmm. You know, or you should have maybe a lawyer who is in the know. We know not everybody can afford to have a lawyer, a family lawyer, but or you have an insurance agent or a broker who you also inform. You know, and I also say this to our own colleagues. When you have a client that maybe you found out is, is late, you can approach the family and inform them. In, not everyone has such a relationship, but if I have such a relationship with my client and I find out that my client is, is late, I walk up to the family and say, this is what I know about your husband's policy or your father's policy. Mm -hmm. So there are many cases. Are yeah, uh, someone is also thinking allowed to say that uh, in such a policy where probably it's taken for three years, yes. five years. Yes. I'm just uh, probably the person is 40 something years. Yes. Three years, five years. Oh no. I will still be alive for 20 years. Yeah. So you will be able to tell. Exactly. This is just a quiet yeah, service yes. that I'm going to do in three, five years' time, I'm going to get back my money. So why do I need to tell somebody that such a thing? And that is why one is talking about the word accident. It doesn't announce itself. Yeah. Death does not also announce itself. Yeah. It can come and, you know, just the way it will come and uh, unnoticed. Now, there are certain issues that we also need to understand. The policy conditions yes. is important that we mention here. The policy says that the policy can only mature when it has reached the period where you took, took the policy. Yes. If it's a five years policy, yes. on the completion of five years, you are entitled to a refund of that money that you have paid alongside what interest, interest. that will have accrued. At the other level, upon debt, upon debt of the insured. Of the insured. And this is exactly what we are talking about in relation to this. So let there be no situation of uh, take things for granted. Because we are taking a lot of things for granted. Because that is not what will be announced to say, I'm coming tomorrow, I'm coming next tomorrow, so be prepared for me. It's for such a reason you also took the policy. And paraventure, we are also, as insurance practitioners, taking policies uh, as customers for people, you know, we should also advise. Is your wife informed? Are your children the beneficiaries? Are they also on the know? So that there could be some level of element of understanding of what this policy relates to. Mm. But in cases, in a lot of cases, people look at, it's the first issue Madame mentioned. What, okay, you are pestering me, I don't want that situation anymore. Please, please, I, I, I read you. What do I need to do? You are going to pay 5000 every month. Okay, fine. 
you can place a bank standing order to that effect. So don't look at it to say that someone is pestering you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that was also one of the things we talked about in our quote. We are saying that see it as what will benefit you, not a situation of let me do it for the sake of doing it. And so we see this consequence. Now we are saying that the insurance company responded yeah. positively. Yeah. In fact, so happy. This is the letter that they wrote, you know, saying, please, we are waiting these documents and you should respond quickly. Yeah. First to say that they sympathize with the family over that, that debt. And except you go to inform the company, they will not be they will not know. So what are the issues that we need to clearly you know state to policyholders so that they can also be guided mm -hmm. when such a thing happens? Yes. That is not something that is uh, not known to people. Yes. It is something that will happen and can happen. Anytime, anytime it can happen. So Ms. Odia, just a, a, a word of advice to people. Well, when, when that occurs, it's proper to inform the insurance company or your broker or agent. Mm. That way, information would pass through the proper channel. And, of course, the insurance company is ready to That's, that's the beneficiary informing you because you know the insured. is not the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that sorry, correction. Sorry, I, no, there's, there's this issue we should also look at. For example, if that policy document was not Available. Yes. How would one have been on it? I, I, I want Ms. Oda to speak okay. before you speak on okay. this. The policy document was found by the wife. Mm. And the wife looked at it. Now, if that life policy document was not available, mm. probably there was a receipt she saw. And the insurance company said, go and bring the policy document with yes. which that husband took it. Yes. What becomes the issue? Well, if that happens, there's a way out. Um, if the policy cannot be found, the family members can do an affidavit to say that the policy is lost, and that affidavit is what the insurance company would uh, work on, work with, and claims will be paid. So we're not saying because you can't find the policy document, so nothing will happen. Okay, okay. You know, yeah, I, was, I wanted to add by saying, you know, when people take policies like this, you know, and even if for any reason the wife was not informed, we should be organized. I have a place in your house where this is where daddy keeps his important Document. documents. When my father passed on, it was that way. Every relevant thing to do with his transactions, my mother could find it in one place. So I don't know if the best The country is very hot. <laughs> somebody who is thinking of how to eat, somebody who is <laughs> learning. Sabiji, so, 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 if you can, <laughs> if you can, if you are wise enough mm. to take up an insurance policy, you know, then it means you are a mature and person. Lighting. Well, lighting. So carry it on. You know what I mean, sir? I mean, go to some people's zone where it's scattered. It's not supposed to be this. Case. God is a God of order. Yeah. So we should be order, orderly, I mean, in our, you know, affairs. And it will help those we leave behind. Because like you said, in our study recently, do you know many people die while we are on set? In fact, people die almost every second. So, <laughs> so you can imagine what's happening as we are sitting down here. You know, so if you take a policy, keep your documents in a place where anyone can access it. No, you're not. Right. Okay, I, I just want to say this with all confidence. Uh, I want to say that uh, I'm sure all those uh, policyholders who have not been paid their claims, especially we had some cases of some uh, legal practitioners yeah. who even came and said, what do we do? And I told them we're going to write and uh, right. they have been uh, keeping in touch. I, I want to still assure them that uh, it will be well at the end of the day. And for those policyholders, just remain calm. Your payment mm -hmm. will actually come. I'm happy to report this. And if I one of our customers, who we also had this kind of similar issue, I would just call him to say, what's the situation? This past week. Yes. And she said, please, I pray God to help you mm -hmm. and your team. I have been paid. Wow. So these are some of the things that we try to do out in this program. Mm -hmm. and I want to say that don't sit on the fence. And we're not going to cover anybody. If the insurance companies are not doing well, we should see they should buck up, do well, so that uh, others will also want to come and enjoy it. Thank you for watching. God bless you and have a wonderful day.